Hey there YouTube. Okay, so I've decided that one well, I need to go back into this anyway. And the reason for that is I've put the um let me just get this. I've put the flight controller in. Uh but it doesn't stick down properly because I've just used masking tape. Now before I put it in, I did roll up the masking tape and I put 50 volts through it very close just to see if I could get anything um, moving through it, any conductivity. I also did resistance checks on it and it's like well out of uh, 20 mega ohm uh, resistance so there's going to be no conductivity from that tape. The cable here that I got told would come with a new flight controller and uh, didn't come so I'm still using the old cable. And the flight controller, of course, is sat on a sponge, but you don't get a new sponge with it, but you have to destroy the old sponge when you take off the old flight controller. So I don't know where you'd get these sponges from. You need some double-sided, whatever, but we're going to look into that in a minute. So I'm still using a sort of patched-up cable. Now, there could be an issue there. Okay, well, to start off, we can see a difference straight away, and although that's not down the way it should be. The flight controller has changed. We don't have the same flight controller. It's a completely different thing. It's it's connected differently. There's no ribbon cable. Um, and it looks like well the power board is definitely changed. This is this is the power board. And you can see just from looking at this and then looking at that where you got the big power connectors, those big tr um, traces there. So the power board is different. The um, ESCs, the electronic speed controls, they're a different colour but they're also different because I'll zoom in on it. I'll stop shaking. Um, as you can see there look, you've got looks like four lettered pads. And if you just get a general look at that, it's the same sort of thing, and it's obviously doing the same job and for the same type of motors and everything. So there's going to be a lot of similarity. Let me just move the light so you can see that a bit better. Let's zoom in on there. You can see the difference there. So they're they're different as well. So really, I suppose the the modules for the uh, 2.4 gigs. Uh, for the control side, they're the same. So yeah, that that is quite a big difference, really, isn't it? I see the motors are the same. That's fair enough. Um, it's just redesign, isn't it? Those uh, ESCs. Obviously, they're going to be probably for the same sort of spec. And uh, I can't see the camera too well, but I can see the connection down there. And it doesn't look to be much different, but I'm going to try and get it at a different angle now and see if we can get a look in at that camera board and see if that's anywhere the same. Uh, really. If I get that to zoom in, no, uh, not to zoom in, to focus. Okay, not really, that's not really the greatest of view. Up the back side of a Hobson H501 SS. 501s right now I'm wondering whether this has got anything to do with the way this thing's veering around when I when I do the uh, the rudder left and right so like I say if I do left it dips down if I do right it sort of sort of pulls up it's trying to escape right let's try and get a better look at this camera so looking at the H501s to start off with not the greatest stuff. Let me just zoom in down there. I don't. I don't want to take the the other one apart. So I just wanted to take the case off. So you can see there. You can see the components on the board. Um, that's the H501S. Let me just back out of that. And then on this one, you'll be able to see. Let's just gently turn this around. I'm hoping you can see down there that it's screened. There's. They've put a. Oh, let me get the get underneath the light. Do that again. Is that going to focus? Zoom in. 
Oh, not zoom focus. But there's, it's got a screen across it. You can't see the components. There's a big silver, a big, uh, it's canned basically. Uh, we're going to try and set this down at a better angle so you can see it. But you should be able to see all the way down the bottom there. It's just the reflection from the top on that screen. I'll try and get a better angle. Right, it seems to be the best sort of angle I can get. But look, you can see now, there's a, they've screened it completely. So I wonder... Hmm. Oh, you know, I don't, I don't know why they, were, why they would have done that. Maybe they were finding interference or something. But that's definitely a different setup there. Is this thing auto focusing? Or is it just my eyes aren't focusing? I wouldn't be surprised if it's my eyes. It seems to be the page is catching up to me really quickly. So yeah, this. Um, That's the flight controller. That's the flight controller. I'm going to see if I can just sit that, back, that down there at that angle and then turn this one around the same way. Oh, so you can see it. So that's just flopping about in the wind. That's no good. Not good at all. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna. <clears throat> I'm gonna put this down with the um, with the sticky silicon. It's like this rubbery stuff, but just a little bit more flexible, but very sticky. So it'll sit on there. It'll be able to vibrate around a little bit. You well, not vibrate, dampen any vibration coming through from the motors, the arms, into the board. It'll be able to dampen that vibration getting to this board. Uh, I'm pretty sure better than the way it is set up at the moment and let's fingers crossed I'm gonna hope that when I try it tomorrow that it doesn't continue to do what it's doing because it's it's very um, it's just not a good thing it's not a good thing it's not making flying this uh, well it, it can't be flying the way it is I'm just looking at those connections down there wondering if the majority of the board looks like it's the same, stayed the same if you look at the connections, but I suppose it's got to really. But they have done a re, a re site, a re connecting, and a complete rethink on the flight controller. Hmm, does need to see to have a you know, to have a cabinet. And this one, this one's got shielding on it, and it's, and the same as. The same as the old one, because this is the old one. Now, they said to me on here that there's a diode, and it's the diode that's died, because they asked if I would send it to them, and then they'd send me a flight controller back, so I assumed they'd send this, they'll change the diode, and send it back to me. Which would be nice, as a spare, maybe, if they'd do that still. Um, I've not heard from Shelley Lou. Well, I don't know, because I speak to somebody, one of the engineers there, who, when he can't get back to me, sends a message, excuse me, saying to um, contact Shally Lou at Skype. So I don't know if it's Shally Lou that I'm talking to. But um, the, 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 it seemed like a different person I was talking to who was actually sending me pictures and helped me go through the board itself. And to, oh, I'm, I'm looking at this when I'm, when I'm pointing at this. And he helped me, uh, you know, to take off the... They, they came here because basically it was in here that he asked me to check the voltage. And on my one, if I remember correctly, it was 4.9. There's a there's a capacitor there, just where my finger is, and I had to check closest to my finger connection on this capacitor. But he wanted to know the voltage from there, and on mine it was 4.9. Then he also wanted to know because uh, I've been asked this by somebody else. Um, and there's a, let me get something to point at it with, just bear with me, there's a, um, let me look, there's a diode, just, uh, I don't know if it's a diode, but there's a device there, and he wanted me to check on the lower part of the device, but the voltage is there, mine was 4.4, and from that he deduced that it was the flight controller, so, he didn't actually tell me what voltage should be there, just asked me what was there, I told him, and 
he told me, but they did say they were going to send me out a cable. So there's, there's the difference. I can't do the... I don't want to pull off anything. I don't want to give Bangard or whatever any reason to say, oh, he's been fiddling the fine. So I can't tell you about the GPS model. But I've got a funny thing. It's probably going to be exactly the same. I don't see why that is going to be such a, a biggie on these. Because the GPS modules do work. Uh, they don't like it if you put things on top of them. Your hands or anything else. And there's... a uh, lots of reasonings for that um, but without this sort of thing happening there, there shouldn't be any reason but if it flips over the GPS doesn't work as you all know all you've got to do is have some GPS um, satellites connected and then turn the drone over and you'll see that you'll lose that connection so that might explain why sometimes you know, I'm doing it one way. See the scars down my fingers when they split open as a kid. Um, should never put your hands through rolling machinery because it can suck it in and just pop them open like sausages. And you end up with these scars and nerves right at the end of the skin. So you get electric shocks from time to time, which is quite fun. Uh, I digress. Yeah, so that's it. That's the uh, that's the difference. That's the difference that we can see so far, or without actually you know pulling anything apart too much. But there is a difference. The main board's been changed. Uh, the flight controller's changed. The ESCs um, are a definite change as well. And an upgrade is definite. These um, these here are definitely not on the other. And the other it's a different configuration altogether really isn't it but there you go for anyone that's interested that's the peak inside h501 ss h501 s let me see if i can fix this now catch you in the next one